exercise for the mind, one brush stroke at a time. I'm Alberto Camargo in Northwest Tallahassee covering College Town News. Opening Minds Through Art, that's the name and the goal of a program at Florida State University that gives people living with Alzheimer's disease or dementia a chance to continue growing. Ooh, I like that. Opening Minds, the minds of people who live with dementia. The Center for Disease Control and Prevention says there are over 5 million in the United States. Here in Leon County, the death rate from Alzheimer's specifically is above average for the state of Florida. FSU OMA facilitator Suzanne Monroe Smith says so many of these people are overlooked. That's why forming this connection with FSU students benefits both parties. So this is our way of, of trying to find that, that inner person that's still there and the gold that is there to come shining up. And we see it every week. She always uses the color blue because that's her all-time favorite color. Opening minds through art. Friday's class was full of paint and glitter, but previous weekly classes have included yarn and fabric. Student intern Jolene Alonzo says the fabric class jogged the memory of her artist, Joan. She said it like reminded her of a dress and everything, and like the feeling of the fabric she really enjoyed. So it's really different each time, and it, I feel like it kind of brings up different experiences that they had with different things. Mia Williams says her artist, Amy, has also shown progress since starting this semester. I've seen her, like, her, her brain and her mind really grow. Like, she's starting to, like, remember things, like, more. Like, she remembers me, like, who I am. Like. Growing each week, even in their condition. The OMA program also holds art activities at the Grove at Canopy in Northeast Tallahassee. And on April 27th, it'll host an open show across both communities to showcase its artwork. In Northwest Tallahassee, Alberto Camargo, ABC 27.